Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to plan a trip using Google Maps and directions. So first of all I'll go into my web browser and I'll type in google.ca. This will take me to Google and here on the Google page I'm going to come up above here and I'm going to choose this icon, the apps. As I look below I have a lot to choose from and I'm going to choose maps. When I choose maps, it will take me to a map of the city that I'm in, which is Vancouver. And then up above here, you'll see this box where I can type. Down below, we can show traffic, bicycling, or terrain. But for this video, we'd like to get some directions. So I'll click here. Now, it's going to ask me to choose my starting point or click on the map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in my starting point. Vancouver, and then I can choose below, Vancouver, BC. Be careful you don't choose Vancouver, Washington. <laughs> For the next step, I need to say where I'm going. For this video, let's say that we're going to Toronto. Toronto, Ontario is the one I'll choose below. It's a big trip. And already it's doing the work for me. So you can see that its first suggestion is that that's pretty far, so I should probably take an airplane, which would take 4 hours and 20 minutes. And then it even says that some ticket prices could range starting from about $583. And I can see on the map that it's a pretty direct flight all the way to Toronto. Now if I come back over here, you can see some information about that flight and the different times and the different prices, who you might be able to get a ticket from. You can see more results on Google Flights, but for this video, we want to see some other options. So I'm going to choose up above here, I'm going to choose the car. I could choose down below here with some different highways, but let's click up above and see what happens. So I'll click on the car, it's going to recalculate everything. Oh my, <laughs> okay, so now we're looking at 41 hours, 4,380 kilometers, that's a long drive. 38 hours without traffic, so if there was no one else on the road, we'd be, oh wow, three hours faster. You could list all the steps, and you can pre <coughs> excuse me, preview the steps as well. We could also choose a different highway, so let's do that. Slight change there, and oh, it's gone up by an hour, so it's a little bit longer to go this way. Perhaps it's more scenic. Now I could also choose up here, I could choose this one. Nope nothing for uh, transit <laughs> and let's see just for fun how long it would take to walk from Vancouver to Toronto so I'll click on that and oh 801 hours hmm it kind of puts what Terry Fox did into perspective anyway that's all the information we need for this video thank you for watching